Okay, so um, many of you guys might know that I toyed around with the idea of doing like an online radio show, and um, I, I really wanted to do it, but just right now I don't have the time. And when I was when I was going to do it, I asked for a lot of different topics, and you know, would people listen, and what did you want to hear about, and what did you want me to start conversations about, and of course, relationships was one of those things. So today. I decided that since I don't have time, what I'll do is kind of throw a question up on my Facebook, get the responses, and then do like a little vlog about it that I'll post on my YouTube and on my Facebook, of course, and, and stimulate some conversation that way and just see where this thing goes. Um, so the question that I asked today was, question for the men, is it true that y'all fall in love with a woman's physical first, then her intellectual, and then emotional? If so, why? And if not, in what order? And <laughs> boy, did you guys have some something to say. Um, so here's the thing. I had a lot of you guys that immediately were like, yep, that's exactly right. Um, and then I had some other guys that were like, no, it's got to be intellectual first or it's got to be spiritual and it's spiritual and then this and then vision and then focus and then all that. And I get it. I'm not belittling any of those things that were said. I love the fact that so many of you responded um, and the things that you had to say. However, I'm going to give you my opinion as if you didn't know that already. Um, so I do think that for both sexes, it starts physically, right? Um, I absolutely think that's true. However, what I also believe is that women, women will... Women are more likely to stay in a relationship with a man when they are less than fully sexually satisfied. If, if a couple of things, if she respects him as a man, if she trusts him, if he intellectually stimulates her, if there's that emotional connection, then I think women are more likely than men to stay in a situation like that. Now, having said that, I do think that when you have all those other things, it makes the sex better. Even if he, you know, even if it's not through the charts, even if he's, even if he's less physically endowed than you would like, right? I think that we women will, will make the most of it if the rest of him is worth it. Um, and I think that we tend to be that way more so than men, because men, if the sex isn't good, I don't even think they make it to the other parts, right? Like if this if the sex is bad, psh, <laughs> I just don't think you guys go any further. Now, if the sex is good, then I think you guys make it to the other parts. That's just what I think. Now, the only time that I don't think that I think that this doesn't apply or there could be an exception is if you already know the person like on a friendship level or some other way where you've met them first and and you developed a friendship and you got to know that person's heart and their spirit and, and their intellect, I think that you can grow to become physically attracted to someone or, or even more so sexually attracted to someone that initially doesn't do it for you. Like we all have that, that one thing that we immediately think is attractive, like holy crap. Like for me, my stand, my norm, not my standard, but my norm is dark skin. I love a chocolate man, right? The, the taller, the better. Um, just not obscenely tall. Um, pretty small white teeth, absolutely all day. Um, and that's that's pretty much like my that that will get my attention every single time. However, I have fallen in love with men who don't look anything like that. Um, and it's because of er other the other stuff that they bring to the table. So so for example, I have a really good friend. And we've been friends for a long time. And to, there are, to, to some women, he is gorgeous. I mean, he's a good looking man. And I can look at him and think, damn, that's a good looking man. He's just not my norm, right? He's not what automatically sexually attracts me. However, I respect him. Um, I love his grind, his ambition, the way he is with his family and his children. Like, so in that instance, if I were to date him, I could actually become sexually attracted to him more than just being able to appreciate his physical attraction, if that makes sense. 
Now, for all my male friends out there, don't start to go, oh my God, am, is she talking about me or whatever? Because I promise you, if he watches this, he'll know it's him. But that's not even the point. The point is, <laughs> the point is, I think for both sexes, it starts physically if there's no prior relationship. And then I think it builds from there. Um, and I do think for men, they fall in love with the physical interaction. And I don't mean to say fall in love because you don't really fall in love with the physical, right? But the physical interaction is what is what gets them. They start at the surface and they work their way down. Women see the surface and we immediately look for what lies beneath. That's why we fall in love with men for their potential a lot of times, if that makes sense, because we see what's underneath the surface. And sometimes we we forget the other surface stuff does matter, you know, whatever the other stuff we see him doing is. So that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but I want to say this. I love the fact that all of you guys responded. I don't like, not that I don't like, I think that some of you said, you know, women that you know, they only care about sex. And I think that's bullshit. Um, if a woman is interested in a sexual arrangement versus a relationship, it's not because she's a hoe. It's not because she's um, she's somehow, I don't know, lacking. It just may be the place that she's at in her life, right? Sometimes we go through a period of time where we need for it to only be about us and we don't want to be engaged in anything that detracts from our own journey, right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go onto my YouTube channel, watch Lessons Learned. That's my second book that comes out this month because there's a whole chapter or two dedicated to this and men, you will be enlightened. Um, but that that sometimes is the place. It's either that or defensive. And sometimes we have to go through that place because we've been so hurt in the past. So I'm just saying. That's typically why women get there. Are there shallow women out there that only want sex? Sure there are, but I don't think that's the majority. Same way I don't believe it when women say, oh, well, there are no good men there. To me, those two statements are just the same thing from opposite sides of the sexual you know, spectrum. So that's just my humble opinion. Um, I'm going to cut this short. Uh, it's not really that short, is it? Seven and a half minutes. But I'm going to stop there because I want you all to engage with me. I want to hear what else you have to say. Um, I want to know... What is it that makes you fall in love with someone? And I think I think that sometimes I think like there's a baseline. And then I think it's interesting how it differs for the person. Um, there are different things that we love about different people. That's why you can take two men who are 80 20s. And that 20 percent that they're missing isn't the same you know, there, there's interchangeable parts that make them fantastic. Um, and I think that, that what that's what makes us fall in love differently with different types of people. Um, so anyway, let me know what you think. I'm, uh, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. And I like the dialogue. So guys, stay with me. Women, join in. And uh, I'll catch you later for another daily dose of Danny. Bye.